Hello and welcome, Sam Felton, the fitness business dude here. Um, and today we are seriously, seriously lucky. We have probably the leading number one fitness business coach in the world, Mr. Chris McCombs. How are you doing, Chris? Hey, I, I'm excellent, Sam. Thank you much for that very nice introduction. I really appreciate that. Very cool of you. Hey, no worries, man. No worries. Really, really appreciate your time. I know you are a seriously busy man. Um, so first things first, um, what I wanted to find out from you today is how did you get into the position you are today? So sort of like where did the where did the feeling about kickback life come about and like when did you start coaching people to, to help them with their businesses? Um, well, I'll start. I had a personal training business that uh, I figured out how to get um, all my clients from the internet for, and I, I figured out how to uh, uh, automate it uh, to where it basically didn't take me any time at all, and had 15 personal trainers doing all the work for me, and it was just a whole automated system. So I wanted to teach my system. I, I learned a lot of different things from a lot of these guys who put out information products, and I was, I was like, well, that looks kind of fun, putting out those information products, and I had all this time on my hands because I had automated them my training business, so I wanted to uh, get into information marketing, and uh, I, I joined I joined some courses, and um, I, Sam. Yeah, buddy. Can you hear me okay? I'm getting some gnarly feedback. Let me, let me try it without these headphones real quick, okay? Yeah, yeah, let's try that. I can still hear you, Chris. It's all good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was Back there. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. a bit better. So, that's, uh, a bit better. that's better. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I started uh, um, teaching personal trainers what I did, but I knew that that I couldn't just come out with an expensive product to teach my course, and I'd actually have to help people for free at first. Mm -hmm. So uh, I learned that from Evan. I joined one of his, his groups, and so for about a year, I just gave out really good free content on my blog. It's almost the same way I built my training business. I built my training business by helping a bunch of people and doing that first before. Uh, before trying to charge a bunch of people, and I did the same thing with my information business. I put out a blog and just gave away a lot of free content. Um, uh, about a year before, I really started selling stuff. I mean, I, I sold a little bit of coaching, kind of lightly, because people asked for it, uh, but they actually approached me for it at first, and that's why I started doing that. But I really didn't do anything for about a year until I launched my first product. I just gave out a lot of really good free content. So uh, I think give, give, give is the key and, and uh, if it's an area that you're passionate about that, that uh, come back to you really big time. Yeah, absolutely. Man. That's fun. Just, um, just like you're doing with your website right now. I oh, appreciate that, Chris. Thanks, man. Um, so, yeah, who, who were your initial inspirations like whilst you were setting up the blog and everything like that? Oh, oh there was a whole bunch of them. Uh, I was learning from who back then were the fitness marketing guys at the time, which was, which was like um, Ryan Lee, was kind of the big one, and then it was also uh, like Jim Labadee and a few guys, and then I wanted to know who they were learning stuff from, and they were learning stuff from a guy named Dan Kennedy, and so I started studying Dan Kennedy, and uh, then all these information marketing guys kind of came on the scene, uh, started studying Andy Jenkins, who actually is kind of funny, turned out to be a real good friend of mine over the years, uh, joined his Stompernet group, which was $800 a month back then, and um, started studying Evan Pagan and, and, and Frank Kern, and just all the... Uh, kind of the mainstream internet marketing guys and I, I saw you know what could I apply to my business I had to go through a lot of courses and a lot of courses that where I learned stuff that didn't apply to me at all to find nuggets here and there and, and kind of put it together to make it work for me yeah that's awesome man um, and then sort of what um, gave you like that that initial confidence to sort of make yourself out there as a business coach and everything like that was it was it over a long period of time or was it sort of like overnight okay well that's a great question that you asked and, and i had some confidence because i created a business that people were kind of amazed by that it, it made so much money and took so little time but i dealt with insecurity the whole time uh i kind of had to believe in myself when no one else did and i knew what i wanted and i knew that my fear of what people thought about me was the only thing that was going to hold me back from doing it so i just kind of had to move forward uh anyway and, and take action and i believe action alleviates anxiety so if you're taking action and, and you're 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 a good person and going in the right direction and focus on helping people, I think that's what helped gain my confidence. 
That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Can you hear me, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still here. I'm still here, Chris. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit sketchy, the line at the moment, but uh, we, we're still doing well. Uh, um, so I, it, here's the here might be a difficult question for you, Chris. Um, why are you like the leading and number one fitness business coach in the world? Why would you say that is? Um, that's a good question. I don't. I don't. I actually don't know if I consider myself the leading number one fitness business coach in the world. I know to some people I am. There's different people who resonate with different coaches, and there's a certain kind of trainer who really resonates with me and those are the kind of trainers that actually that i would hang out with when i was a trainer mm. right so the, the trainers who are kind of like me and kind of young at heart a little bit crazy and um yeah you know those one just because maybe the way i look there's other coaches for them so uh, I'm definitely one of the top the way I talk to think ones in the world. Um, uh, it's kind of very humbling to 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 to, to think about this, um, <laughs> and I'm very grateful to to be in this position. Uh, I think that I just really put myself out there and gave away a lot of free content and focused on helping a lot of people, mm -hmm. and made a lot of connections uh, with the right people by helping those people first. Um, so I think really the key was just helping a lot of people, you know, but there are definitely people in the industry who have bigger email lists than me, have, have probably, big, you know, bigger, bigger followings. Um, I do have a, a, a following of very dedicated people who love the stuff I do. So uh, I, I appreciate the comment. Your question is really awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, no worries, man. No worries. You definitely deserve the title, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it sounds Thank awesome, you. sort of like, how you've got up to this point, Chris. Um and I was just uh, thinking back in the day before sort of like Facebook is the big networking tool now. What were you using to network before, before all that? Oh, it started with MySpace for me. Mm. Uh, MySpace was a big one for me way, way, way back in the day. And, and, um, and then I would say my blog. I mean, people mm. just coming on and... and, and, and you know, seeing who's on my blog, and I used to be, uh, there used to be this thing called Personal Trainer University that I used to go on, and, and they had a forum in there, and I would connect with their people on the forum, and uh, I would just, I would reach out, I would find people's websites, people who wanted to get to know, and I would email them or call them personally, and that's pretty much what, what I did when it came to network. That's spot on, and so, so like a bit of online, a bit of offline, and sort of just building up, right, uh, and uh, Online Up offline sometimes, just you know, reach them via phone call or, or email, and and, and uh, try to start out the relationships with the giving hand by asking what I can do for them first, mm -hmm. uh, instead of trying to get something from them first. That 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 always worked really well for me. Um, just being being genuine, and I'm not really a pushy person. I'm kind of the opposite of that. Yes. And I think online you have a lot of pushy personalities sometimes. Uh, people who who you know are doing anything, get their way to the top. And while I I was you know in my gut going to do whatever. I, I can reach my goals. Uh, you know, I don't like when people are pushy with me at all, so I'm very conscious of that. So I'm, I'm a very not pushy person. Matter of fact, when I was a personal trainer, uh, I was I had to do takeaway sales. I was not good at like trying to talk people into stuff. So I just did. I kind of made my program really exclusive, and I made people want to be part of it because I had an exclusive feel. So I did opposite of a pushy type sales process, and that worked really well for me. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, th this is a question that I ask everybody um, that I do an interview with. Um, what words of wisdom would you give to anybody that's first starting out in the uh, fitness industry? Well, figure out what they want and be pretty specific about it, like what they want their ideal business to look like and the kind of clients they want to have and how they want to help those clients and what they want their day to look like and how much money they want to make and how many hours they want to work and what they want to spend those hours doing. And um, and then start taking massive action towards it and realize it's probably not going to be the perfect action at first. Uh, uh, if that action is based on helping people, that's probably going to be the best action that you can take at first. And, you know, learn a lot, but don't, don't use learning as an avoidance activity. Uh, uh, a lot of people put off taking action because they're waiting for everything to be perfect. They're waiting for all the 
the ducks to be in a row. They're waiting to figure everything out. And my experience is you're never going to figure everything out. You're never going to know the whole path to get from here to there. You just need to know enough of it to, to get going. You know where you want to go. Get going in that direction, and life will put the answers out there for you. Life will guide you. You'll make a lot of mistakes. Be willing to make mistakes. I've made so many mistakes, and I still do all the time. Um, I think that that has been a huge part of uh, uh, what, what why I've uh, created this level of success in the industry is because um, I'm just willing to make mistakes, and I make a lot of them, man. But it's okay. That guides the path. A lot of people are afraid to make any mistakes. Uh, they get scared to, to screw things up, mess things up, so they don't take action. Be willing to screw things up and just move forward. Make sure your heart's in the right place. Help people, and you'll get there. That's awesome, man. That is perfect advice. Because, um, yeah, I mean, I, I learn every single day, man. Something else new crops up um, and yeah the day that you think that you know everything is the day that you know you stop moving forward so um yeah man thanks a lot for that chris that's spot on um but yeah well thank you so much chris for uh for your time with us today uh where can people find out more information about you if they have if they're not on your list already people can find Find more information about me at, uh, you know, just go to kickbacklife.com. There's lots of free information on that site. I've been putting up free content on it for years. K-I-C-K-B-A-C-K-L-I-F-E, kickbacklife.com. That's perfect, Chris. I appreciate your time, man. You're, you're super cool, dude. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll be uh, speaking again very soon. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. No worries, Chris. You take care, man. You too, brother. Bye.